Go on then. We're going. Welcome back everyone. You probably recognise this car. It's my MR2 and I love it dearly. But what we've actually got is an enormous update for you guys. I know, I know we haven't updated you on it much. It's been a big gap, but it's getting towards winter time now. And we've actually got some time, listen to this weather. We've got some time where it's stuck in the shop. It's been there for nine months and I've got no other race events or anything going on. So we're gonna get stuck in, try and do a bit more fixing tonight. But I'm gonna tell you about what's been done on it over the last couple of weeks we've been working on it. Loads and loads of stuff. We might even get a song out of the engine tonight. I'm gonna give it a go. It's tools like this. Let's get cracking. So whilst he's getting on with the MR2, which is going to bore, the, he's just going to end up talking all night. We will get it started tonight, I'm we sure. But in the meantime, we want to talk about Car Vertical because without them sponsoring this video, we wouldn't get any progress on the MR2 at all. Um, it's sponsorship point. like that that helps us create content, which you guys hopefully enjoy. Yeah. With that, what's the Car Vertical we're going to go to? So we have got this time an MR2. Which is, again, not our MR2, because our MR2's got to be worse than this one. But basically... It's straight as a dime, isn't it? It's straight as a... <laughs> Don't look at it over there. Well, anyway, sorry, go on. Um, it looks more like a veterinary clinic or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> anyway, so we have this Toyota MR2, which has been checked, and it shows that the mileage is fine. It's never been stolen, but it has had an accident, Nick. Oh, dear. This is what happens when you go and look at a used car or what have you. But... Yes, it's had an accident and there's no finance outstanding on it, which is a bit of a benefit. So you know yep. you're not going to get bit in the backside. Yeah, that's good. So let's have a quick look. The accident was in the United Kingdom. Okay. It was in 2018. Ah, so, so it was a four 2008, years ago. Yeah, four yeah. years ago. Yeah. But if we go down further, you'll be able to see the pictures. Oh dear. And the pictures do not look great. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are too. They're not exactly designed to crumple, are they? No, they, they just get smashed to pieces. Exactly that. Yeah, so it's had some front end damage. I'm not sure if I'd want to put that back on. Oh, the go, back, go back though. Yeah. This was really handy about these photos. The airbag didn't deploy. All oh, right, so the airbag. So didn't you know the airbag didn't go off, but like, the front end's oh. missing. Nick. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Yeah. So that's not great. Let's go back up. What category is it? Because that's another so good thing on this. So that check. is category S. So that is okay. a structurally damaged car. Ah. So that's going to be some work to get back on the road. Okay. But the other good things, of obviously, is it shows you what the valuation of the car would oh, have been geez. before they had the accident. So what they reckon is the market valuation of that car before the whack, and it yeah. would have been a nice, clean, tidy car, is approximately, after negotiations, around yeah. about £6,849. I'll tell you why, because it shows me on here, if I go all the way up, it's over, the last MOT showed that it only done 29,000 miles. Oh, wow. Oh no, and it's... I know. Yeah, what a shame. Okay. But anyway, we're not going to buy that car. It's just another example of what you can find out if you're going to go and buy one, yep. what you can actually be caught out by. But with them checking all the many databases and everything else, yes, it is well worth doing it. So if you do want a 10% discount, yep. use you can our use code. our discount code, yep. which is in the description below with the links to Car Vertical. I would strongly advise... Yep every person before they go and look at a car and travel the distance they do yeah do a check on it before you leave i know it seems really easy for us to chuck these in but generally we found this a fantastic tool to use it searches many other countries around the world it'll give you photographs you've just seen it's an epic epic tool to use if you're buying a used car don't get stung use our discount code save yourself some money yeah that's the way right now we're gonna have to deal with him talking yeah i kind of want to see it start is it gonna start yet or what also by the way just to let you know <coughs> have you seen that I'm going to show it off. Hang on. Take nice, that. Cool. Thank you, Car Vertical. But just before we get back to Owen, I want to show him this. Look, this will be coming to the channel. We just don't know when. Your phone's just asked how long. How long for what? <laughs> Look, it heard you say that and it went, how long? How long for us on the channel? Um, I would say about two All weeks. Right, right, so Siri. Oh, yeah. Can we show them the... Oh, Look at the filth. Look at that. Oh, dirty. Horrible. Dirty. Right, anyway, let's go and see what he's that. doing. On this rainy evening in November, got a bit of an, up, a bit of an update for the MR2. I have been collecting stuff throughout the summer 
Uh, you may remember in the last video, um, me and Nick went out on it and destroyed a drive shaft. So I put a stock drive shaft back in. In fact, I think we've got photos of that somewhere. Video? Who's video. Who's on video? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I'm going to pin myself in. <laughs> oh no! You've done another gearbox, haven't you? <laughs> anyway, I've got pieces of drive shaft as a result of that. So it got to the point where I was like, do you know what? I think we need to stop this from happening. I, I broke another drive shaft after that, and it just gets boring putting drive shafts in cars. So I've managed to find a set of. Uh, Gordon from Street Racers hooked me up with a set of DSS 1000 horsepower drive shafts. There's one here, there's one in the car already. I'll just move this out of the way. More to come on that later on. But look at this monstrous, look at that monstrosity of splinage there. So each one of these, each one of these is rated to a, uh, 500 horsepower. Combined, it's 1,000 horsepower. Which, coincidentally, is the target we're aiming for. We're, we're gonna run a little bit more methanol than what we had before. I've got a 72, 75 turbo to go on here. Uh, oh, so much, what else? We've got, um, I've had the subframe down, the engine came out, a whole, whole, crazy stuff right so after breaking it I put it on the lift I was gonna get drive shafts for it I was like uh, Ahmed Jamshade uh, Jamshade from Big Man Ting Performance he was like oh you know tentatively gonna put this block for sale and I got glued to it straight away I didn't even need to do anything to the engine because it made plenty of power as it was but anyway he had a sleeved Darton sleeved billet rodded K24 full house they rate these bottom ends at I think it was 13 or 1600 horsepower it's some crazy power um, and I kind of bought it, which I, 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 can't, I don't know if I should regret that now or not, but... So basically, it's going to be a K24, they call them a Franken They call them a Frank, yeah. Right, so Frank. It's, still got this, it's still got the K20 head, it'll still have, it still has got the K20 head. We've used all new Honda components, all new chains, new head gasket, like everything. Uh, slightly different head gasket as well, but I'll talk about that later. So um, I, there wasn't really a need to do it. And after everyone says, oh, K24 swap, I will go into more detail. If anyone wanna, wants to ask questions about this, everyone says the K24 uh, Frank is a really quick, quick job to do. It's not, it, it's doable, but there's loads of stuff you have to do. And we've run into a few problems on the way, which I'll talk about during the video. So now it's got this like giant bottom end ready to go. It's gonna make more torque, more power, but it's got the K20 head with the super tech like top end. So. Really, there isn't really a reason why it shouldn't make a thousand or thereabouts horsepower providing the fuel in and the turbo and everything else keeps Have up. Have you got a it. turbo? I've got a turbo lined up, which another thing is Ahmed sorted me out. It's still got the Precision 6466 on there, which made 678 horsepower. Which is obviously now for sale. Which may well be for sale. <laughs> I mean, this car went like a scalded cat with 680 horsepower. I don't really see a reason that it should have another 300 horsepower on that, but you know, it's smoke radics, that's what we're gonna do. We'll make things interesting. So what else, what on top of that? So um, I took the rear suspension, we took the rear subframe down, got it blasted and powder coated, which we'll show you in a second, probably in the cutaways here. Um, took the subframe down, got it powder coated, took the, well, when we had the arms out, realized that the bushes are a bit knackered. So one thing, if you've ever built a car, one thing leads to another. So now the, the subframe looks great, but it's got knackered old bushes in it, so I've got, Super Pro polyurethane bushes to go in there. Throughout the whole the whole rear end is going to be done. The drive shafts are going to go in to the new gearbox. Right. So let's get this right. It's a Frank engine. It is. It's going to be running about a thousand horsepower. Should be. Yep. It's got drive shafts that will not shite themselves. That, exactly that. Beautiful. But what is the piece de la resistance? The piece de la resistance is, the, well, the, the problem with it was it kept, I think it broke. Oh yeah, we've done three gearboxes. Done two gearboxes and then I had a drag gear set with a something or other high, you know, gearbox. And uh, a, a sequential, a quay sequential came up at the right price, unused, but been in storage for a long time. If you're gonna put nearly a thousand horsepower through any sort of gearbox, any stock, factory Honda type gearbox, it is gonna let go at some point. It'll either strip the gears or crack the casing. They're not known for cracking casings, but the gears will get out of bed and go on holiday. That is it. So if you're gonna cope with that, I've got drive shafts to cope with it. The gearbox should cope with it. The bottom end's gonna cope with it. I've got new injectors, again, from Big Man Ting. Thank you very much. Um, and fuel tech. Right, so this, supplied by Gordon at Street Racers, um, the only problem. Him and Big Man Ting have basically built your car. Mate, honestly, there's so. That, that community, the Honda community, I've never been into Honda stuff, but the Honda community are so, so good. So basically, 
Gordon tells me, he said, that's great, you've got a great list of stuff there. Um, what are you going to control the gearbox with? And I was like, man, nah, don't worry about it, don't worry about that later. He said, no, you've got the Hondata that's in there, K4 Pro, K Pro 4, whatever, doesn't have the ability to momentarily, momentarily cut the ignition um, to allow the gear change with a sequential. Because uh -huh. on the top of this gear stick, you have a gear knob, which will have... I was guessing that, you wouldn't be doing it with just... Well, no, yeah, there's a bit of a thread missing, yeah, well, but if you've got a sequential, the most, the, the most efficient way, and to not damage the box, is to cut the ignition during gear changes. It deloads the gearbox, but you need to have a, what's called a strain gauge for that, which, which is the gear knob that goes on top. So as you apply pressure or leverage to the gear shifter, it cuts the ignition for a split second. The K-Pro doesn't have the capability of doing that, but the FuelTech does. FuelTech's got a whole host of other stuff that's going to be helpful for me on this car. Um, I mean, it's really, really good stuff. So that's just some of it. I'm going to put it up in the air. Me and Colin got onto the car uh, a week or so ago, got stuck in, managed to get the engine and box back in the car, then cracked on with it. We've done a little bit of wiring, and that's as far as I've got so far. I've got one drive shaft in. I've had to order special oil for it. I've had to order a separate wiring loom for the fuel tech because they get provided with a front wheel drive wiring loom, but obviously the engine's in the back. Uh, what else? Um, That's it. Let's get, let's get so looking much, and let's try and get it started and actually get a decent song out of it. If we can get a noise out of it, that'd be ace. I just want to get my hands dirty. Let's get cracking. What, what is it we've got to do to get it running then? Well, Come on, drop, drop. it doesn't look like a lot, but it always is a lot with custom cars. You know, um, wiring is the main thing. I've got, in saying that, that pipe work needs to go on. People are going to watch the video and go, ah, it's half built. Like, it is half put together. All I want to do is get a noise out of it. I want to know the engine is okay. That is it. So I want to crank it, get oil pressure. Has it got oil? Yeah, it's oil in it. Proper, proper. Um, I want to crank it, get oil pressure. There's so much, man. Engine mounts and all sorts of other stuff about to do. Um, I want to crank it, get oil pressure, fire it, and then continue doing the wiring. But uh, there's only a few wires it needs on it. Um, there's only a few wires it needs on it to actually get it to start. So I've been on it probably a couple of hours before you guys turned up, just wiring what I can see together, just so it's not a big deal. Hopefully, before we leave, we I mean, can just get a noise. The only reason why we're here is to hear it go, so. Well. Yeah, you said, oh, it's gonna start up tonight, so we're in. I it. said it was gonna we, start we, tonight. We didn't, get, so. we didn't get invited for the build. It's raining, I only came you know, down here to hear it fire we, up. Yeah, so. yeah. us, us and the followers didn't get invited choppy, to see it choppy. get built. I wanna hear it start. Right. Anyway, do just it. crack on. Why? Well, do it. In fact, I'm gonna come down more. Do you think it's gonna start tonight? Uh, so I'm, I'm talking to Stu. One of Owen's cars, start. And they usually start, it's they just, they don't come back <laughs> right, alive. I'm, we're going to be completely honest with you, right? It is coming up to, ready? Six minutes to eight. Will it start before nine? Uh, I'd hope so, because I'd like to get back at a reasonable time tonight, if I'm honest. I better do, yeah. Okay, all right. I'm busting for the toilet, so... Dirt yeah. already, look, from just getting around this. Uh, yeah, that's, that's enough talking. Let's, um, let's see him get on with it, shall we? Yeah, oh, no. oh, you monster! You absolute monster! Oh, I cleaned you know, it last yeah, time. Yeah, but you would you would moan if that was yours. No. He's oh, one I of those. Do it on the glass. Oh, yeah, there you go. You're gonna tell you now. Comment below. You'll get people will be upset by that. You got told off last time for closing the door with the glass. Did you see that? Someone, oh, no com way. someone commented saying, "What? <laughs> yeah, don't do it. No, don't. No, seriously, don't. That's gonna scratch it. That's gonna scratch it." You'll get in trouble with all the people who say, you're supposed to be motor addicts. Apart from you, me, and obviously him with the Datsun. Hi. Yeah. Who's Was actually it? got a nice looking car? <laughs> uh, well, you, you've got the only one that actually- Nick's the only one that's gone, I want it to look good. I don't want it to go well, I want it to look <laughs> well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the, yeah. I want it to go stupidly quick and I want well, I my kept... stuff to handle. <laughs> yeah. And then I he's having you, a- You're not even in the middle, are you? None of your stuff looks good. <laughs> <laughs> and none of it's fast. Right. None of it's fast. Whoa. Fastest delivery. I'll tell you what, 10.7 seconds, not 60, wasn't it? Because yeah. it's a rally car, it won't cope. Yeah. Don't get started there. Anyway, engine. <laughs> it, it looks As no see, different. No, it does, <laughs> right? It does look different. Right? So oh, I'll, I'll point out a few things, right? Injectors, they're all in. The methanol is, is there, but it's not piped up yet. Fuel reg, that's in. Um, I did run the fuel pump and I had fuel pissing out of it, so I've had to fix that. Well done. Uh, yeah, what else have we got? Did Tum you fix it or Colin fixed it? Well, we both did. Uh, Colin fixed Actually, it. I've got, to be fair, no I've got to give Colin credit because he, he's my wingman so with this stuff. So did he fix it? Yes. Well, he might have fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely fixed it. <laughs> um, right, what else? 
I want to tell you about these drive shafts. Right? No, not interested. We've spoke Come about the drive shaft. Oh man! Come it's, on. It's we spoke about the drive shaft. Did I tell you about the fuel tech? Fuel tech. Yes, good. you did. <laughs> so, so did I tell you about engine Turbo's just like I will, I will cut you. Right, let me tell you. I about will engine cut you deeper than you've ever been cut before. Right, let's have not a little, emotionally either. Let's have a little little chat about engine mounts, right? If you're going to do a K24, two and a half minutes, minutes no favourite. No if three you're, you're going to do a K20, K24, Frank, right? Engine mounts are different because the engine is 20 is. Well, two, Some amount of two inches higher it's or something. 2.2 now, isn't it? So I know you can buy the is swap kit. 2.2 or 2.4? 2.4. So right. before anyone okay. jumps in and says, oh, you could buy a swap kit for that. Yes, I had the swap. I, I, had, I have a swap kit for it. It didn't fit for some reason. So I've had to have a bit of fabrication work done. So we've had it copied because I used Toyon. It had Toyonda mounts on it for Toyonda. the K20. Yeah. Um, but the K24, anyway, whatever. It's got a big amount on it. Oh, and another thing. Let me oh, tell you about fuck. engine mounts, right? You know what? This is I just found fun. this resting on here, right? Pass it me and no. I'll cut him. <laughs> I will, I will cut him down. I reckon Colin put it there so that when he gets talking too much, he just wants to end it all. Yeah. He's got a way out. I will cut him. No, because you actually will cut him. Oh. No cutting. Well, yeah, cutting. but I, I want to cut him. He, he's him. been, you know what? People have commented, he's not been in any videos. Because yeah. he's too busy, <laughs> he's too doing busy. this, yeah, yeah. doing that. Yeah. I may as well cut him. Do you, know why do you know why he's too busy he's talking? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are dicks. <laughs> right, here's another what thing. What the right? fuck is this? During what, the what course. No, no, no. Is, talk is, about, is oh, this like I'm slush puppy maker? Jesus, man. Right, so in the powder coating process, because I had a, bowl, a whole bunch. Get a bit excited. Is there a big process? Use your words, Owen. I got a bit excited, right? Anyway, about so powder coating. when the powder coating was done, it has to go in an oven. And some of the bushes may have got a little bit cooked, right? So I, need a, I needed a specific bush for the K-swap oh, mount. You can't just buy that off the shelf. You, you got a big bush. You can, but you have to get it from America. So I was like, I ain't waiting for that. I'm going to make my own, right? See that? Check that, check that stuff out, right? Black fast cast. Yes. Right. It's not a way to make your penis bigger. But no. could I say what one it thing? Is, can I say one thing? <laughs> Go on. If you had a coat of powder, <laughs> right. would it be warm? Well, no, it'd disintegrate, especially in the rain. So anyway, what I did, what I did, I wasn't about to wait. You for, can't stop him, can you? Know? Honestly, I wasn't going to wait for America. So what I did, that's what I did. Do you want to know what I did there? What did you do? I made my own polyurethane mount. You've made your own bush. Oh, so you've got time to do that, but not actually come and see the people. I've got to mount the freaking engine. No, I mean I? the people. I made that. I made that. Anyway, with that stuff. Let me have a so look. So if you're thinking about no, no, I don't want that stuff. If you I'll think about, don't look at the other side. Oh, no. Don't look at it. Strip it. Strip it over. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Can I see the other side? Hang on. You definitely made it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You get a load of bubble gum and just put it in. Do you know what? The thing is about it. I wasn't about to wait for America to to pull their socks up. So. Uh, yeah, so if you I'm want to I'm not make... being funny. If you order something from Scotland, it'll be here in five weeks. If you order it from America, it'll be here in three days. I've got another story so, about that. No, no, no I'm not going to go into that. that. I'm not going to go into but that. But that's to do with the Datsun. That's for another day. So um, <laughs> if you are, if you want to make your own polyurethane mounts, it is a piece of piss. Go ahead and do it. don't think. Oh, just do it. I, I promise you, it took me 15 minutes to do that. There you go. Brilliant. So that's it. It's four uh, minutes. It's four and a half minutes now. Right. Four minutes. Five minutes. Five, this is a Sorry, long, ass fucking sorry. video. <laughs> I've got this just in case because yeah, there's another you one. You hit the other yeah, one from me, yeah, right. right? Explain the situation. Well, we make ran, it quick. We ran into we stuck we had, uh, what we ran into <laughs> we ran into a little problem. I was looking. Uh, it doesn't start. Check it out, right? It doesn't start, right? We'll okay. try start it. What's spark though? Something that sounds like fuel. Maybe this, this is becoming a very long story. Yeah. So basically, I was looking for a wiring problem. Um, because I've got no fuel pump. Uh, come to the front. What does all that look like to you? Detritus. Right? Schmutz. So then, Schmutz. I look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, oh dear. Hang on, let me just... Oh yeah. Yeah? A uh, Mises. Mises? Mises? Well, it's anyway. So I was like, well, surely that means something's eaten something. It's been in the air for nine months. How hungry did you get? Not as hungry as this. Oh no! An actual dead animal! It serves you right for trying to eat my car. Look at his angry yeah. face, look, full screen. Pissed, man. Anyway, let's find other problems. Well, just oh, turn it over. Well, turn it over. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see the. Well, that sounds good. That sounds like metal and metal over here. Yeah. Don't worry, it's only a turbo, nothing important. Yeah, it won't heat it. But what you didn't hear was a fuel pump running. 
<coughs> oh, is, that, th is that why it's d not doing anything? Well, yeah, that, this is my fuel gauge here, and there should be fuel is pressure it, on do that. Do you have a fuel gauge in the car? Let's have a no. Look. Can I get in on I that? I actually haven't. Can you see that? Bear in mind, I've only just turned the ignition off, and there should still be resi residual pressure there, and there's nothing. So, so is it? Well, something wants to ruin my day. Then. Well, I don't know. Well, that's what I'm looking at. Okay. He's still talking to himself. He's still talking. That is doing my absolute nothing, to we, be honest. We don't have any mechanical skills, do we? No. no, no. But do you reckon we could have sorted it otherwise? I reckon so. Possibly. Look, look at him reaching up, look. Oh. I know. He's got an entire ramp where he could make that any height he wants, yeah. and he's doing that to himself, look. He's tippy doing tippy toes. He could go down. could go down. He could go down, he could go up. I've got big news, which we'll talk about in the next video. What a teaser. Oh. Yeah, big news. Two, a couple of things really. Can That'll we say good. anything? Can we? Can we give uh, them a little, little tease? There's another place, and there's a return. So you? Okay. I don't know. What, yeah, that is uh, ambiguous. That's why we're waiting because all it is is him talking at the minute. Okay. So might as well just say yeah. There's there's news. So the next midweek video will be probably you and me doing something because he'll be too. We're going to do something, aren't we? We're going to do something. Because he'll be but doing that's when we'll else. announce what this really big thing is and then what's a personal big thing as well. Okay. So, there's two big things. Have you got a personal big thing? <laughs> that's not what I've heard. That's not what? what's written on that toilet door over there. <laughs> Stu has a personal big thing. Because it's now got the sequential in it, I don't know if it's in neutral. So it might be trying to turn the engine, not that that's going to affect well, it, it from starting. Spin something, wouldn't it? Like one of them. Yeah. One of the wheelie boys. But I want it to fire. I want it to fire up in neutral. I don't want it to. That's what. That's what the noise is. It's banging and swinging around. Oh look, actual mechanics happening now. Look, oh, he's people say that Owen don't know what he's doing. He's the, not a mechanic. That's what people said before in comments. You know that, right? The tool has a tool. I know. And look at him actually doing stuff. And he's changed gear. Look. Did that well, change? I, just, gear? I want it to be in we, neutral. We it. You can tell that's going to be a noisy gearbox from just <laughs> just from that moving that. <laughs> What I like is the fact that we're telling people really informative information. Like anyone who ever watched one of my videos goes, oh, I'm going to try that now. There's no, well, it's not going to be informative. People no. will turn off and go, well, this is boring. Yeah. I found something. Oh, God. Put, uh, put your camera on that. On the yeah. yeah. Blow a flame. Oh, yeah. Where's it going? It moved. Ooh. So good? what was it? Uh, well, I think where the engine's come out and the wiring's been jangled around, I found a connector underneath that bit of loom there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that that was partially out. That wasn't all the way home. That powers the relay. Hang on, the fuel pump. I just want to know who's going to go. Well, I don't. I, I, you encounter some problems. I found a dead mouse. I wasn't expecting to see. I reckon that mouse was the last person to find the problems on this kid. <laughs> and that's what it drove him to. He didn't starve to death. He actually killed himself. <laughs> he was like, I ain't fixing this. I'm going to kill myself. Go. I'm going to turn it now. Actually, in case it goes bang. Is it? Is It didn't move. The wheel did not move. I can't, it's got no coolant in it, so I can't run it. No, I didn't want the wheel to move. That's fine. Oh, okay. that's fine. Because that for those at home, really confusing. It was, wasn't it? So basically, but it worked. Because it, a H pattern gearbox, you just knock it out of gear and find neutral. But because it's got a sequential, you're like all the way back or all the way forwards, and then one notch. So I had to find where neutral was. But we're there. That was an actual noise. That hasn't oh, made a noise for a long That time. hasn't made a noise for nine months. I thought it was quite silent. Well, saying that, it's it's considering there's no exhaust on it, that was quite silent. It wasn't mm. horrendous. Just well done, mate. Well, there we go. Oh, leave me, leave me hanging. Oi. Yes. Well done. Get my torch. So all I've got now. Yeah, if you're going to shine it into the lens, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. All I've got now is the rest of the pipe work, gearbox oil, some more wiring, there, intercooler, coolant, other drive shafts. I mean, it's not much. Where's that blade? <laughs> so what's next? Come on, let's quick update and round it up. What is next? What is next is get the get the other turbo, finish obviously putting it together so it can drive. Get the other turbo, get the fuel tech in there so that I can control the transmission because I can't really drive it very well without a sequential control. Uh, then go to Gordon's at Street Racers, get it mapped, drive the wheels off it, go race supercars and win. That's the plan. Leave me alone. I want to crack on, fix well, it. That's right. the end of this video. Well, what I yeah. like. Don't don't shout, please. On and the show, it's really starting to wind me up. I'm subscribe. No, don't 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 do it. Though. Can they hit the bell? They didn't comment. For fuck's sake, honestly. Comment as well. Why did I hit the bell? 
Master! <laughs> he loves that. What are you especially like? My, my tinnitus is fucking <laughs> <playing around. laughs> Yes. And we'll see you next time. There you go. We'll see you next time. That is your lot. I've been to myself, just me lately. I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot, no. Just me and the fan, two friends, same plan. I don't speak a lot. And I, and I, and I can't stop. And I, and I, and I can't stop.